Hi, this is Kanu Babu. This is part twenty-nine of Trial Biz Project. So, in the last video, here we have discussed something like how to generate the text boxes dynamically, right? And here the text boxes are generated, but I want to generate the text boxes based on the number of tickets we have selected, number of seats that we have selected. For example, if the admin has selected what uh, two seats. Here you see, sir. If the customer has selected two seats and click on this button, it has to display these text boxes in two rows. Let us see how to develop that one. So here we already discussed about this dynamic text box uh, method is there. This uh, for loop will load how many times? Five times. When this loop will load five five times, five text boxes will display in a single row. But I want to display how many text boxes? um i want to display the text boxes based on the number of seats that are selected in the previous video we already discussed about that uh, whenever the customer will try to select the seat numbers we have incremented the seat numbers and store that incremented value in k so again i want to rotate the for loop here again i want to rotate the for loop here you see and i want to rotate the loop how many times based on the number of seats so for this method i will try to pass The parameter as int k, and here I will try to rotate the loop uh, k times based on the number of seats. So initially j is zero, j uh, less than or equal to k, j less than or equal to what k, and here I will write j plus plus. Are you following? So here, let us see, and I will cut this uh, for loop inner for loop, and I will uh, keep this for loop inside where. This for loop. So here I am trying to use the nested for loop, right? And here I will try to increment the count. And here also after adding the controls to the placeholder, I will try to increment the count. Is it clear? And in order to maintain the control IDs, again I will try to store the control IDs in view state. View state of control IDs is equals to control IDs. Is it clear? And here, after displaying these five text boxes, and when the inner loop will rotate, the inner loop will dis display five text boxes in a single row. Let us see once you will get some idea. So, at the time of calling the dynamic text box, here you see where we call the dynamic text box method. This dynamic text box method we have called inside where button. So here I will try to pass what k value. So again I will try to restore the k value. K is equals to view state of variable name that is k. And I will try to convert into integer. So convert dot two into thirty two of view state of variable name. And here I will try to pass what the k. Is it clear? Let us see here debug and check the output. So you see, customer will select the seat number. Okay, press F five. Another seat number. Press F five. And another seat number here. You see, when you select this another seat number here, let us see what is happening. Here the k is what three. So here now, once when the customer will click on this button, click me after selecting the seats, then again the load view state will fire. Generally, in ASP dot in each and every time when the request is going to the server, the state of the controls that was created dynamically, that state of the controls are not maintaining because of ASP dot net stateless nature. So each and every time when the request is going to the server, this load view state will fire, and in this view state, what we are doing, we are maintaining the Dynamically created control uh, values. Are you following? And then button one underscore click will fire. So the k is how much? Three. So the customer has selected three seats. And now invoking dynamic text box of at the time of calling this method we are passing the k value three. Now the outer for loop will load three times. When j is equals to zero, count is how much here? One. Uh, now when i is equals to one zero, uh, it is creating one text box. And the id of the text box is text box one. And the here the count is nothing but text box plus count. Count is one. Text box one is the ID for the first control, and it was added to the IDs as well as placeholder. And again incrementing. Now the count is how much two? The ID for the second text box is text box two, and again the count is what three. ID for the third text box text box three, and here you see the text for the text box is gender, and all these control IDs we are adding to the generic collection. Text box one two three. Is it clear? And uh, here you see like this. This loop is rotated how many times? Five times. So here five IDs are there. 
text box 1, text box 3, 2 to text box 5. And then, now J is how much? Here you see, J is 1. Means second time we are editing the outer loop to generate the dynamic text box in second row. And again, the inner loop will edit 5 times. Now, J is how much? 3, here you see. Means because customer has selected 3 text boxes, 3 seats. So, here you see, J is 3. Now, again the loop is rotating for 5 times and display in the output. Is it clear? Let us see here. This is my requirement. Customer number, customer name, gender, phone number, yes. And again, customer number, customer name, gender. Like this, 3 rows are generated. But, uh, the requirement is something like what uh, means here I want to display this C number in the next next row. So, for that what I want to do. So, here you see after this for loop, I will create one more control that is literal control. Actually, this literal control is generally used to throw the cursor to the next line. I want to add some BR tag. So, here you see LB is equals to uh, new literal control of and here, I am strongly recommend you watch the part number 26 of trial biz project in order to understand the dynamic controls. And here I will try to use BR tag. It is used to throw the cursor to the next line. And then I want to add the literal control also to my placeholder. Placeholder 1 dot controls dot add off. Here I will try to use LB. So what is happening here? When this for loop will rotate, this loop will rotate 5 times and it will display 5 text boxes. And after this loop will exit, it will create one literal control and it will throw the cursor to the next line. Is it clear? Let us see here. Debug and check the output. So, here I have a small correction. I will start the J loop starting with 1. So, if I give the size as 3, so 1 to 3, 3, three rows will come. Is it clear? So, here you see uh, what I will try to do here. Try to debug and check the output. So, here you see customer will select three seats and once customer will click on this button then automatically it will generate what the dynamic controls and the K is how much 3. So, I is 1. So, 3 times the loop will rotate and here you see it will display the text boxes in three rows. This is first row, second row and third row. Now, my requirement is and the seat numbers are 1, 2 as well as 3. The fare is 1200. Is it clear? Now, my requirement is what? Now, the customer will enter the details, something like 101 Anil gender, phone number is and 102 here Sunil, gender is male and 7777, 21 and 103 Ajay, male, double eight and 22. Now, once when user clicks on this book ticket, it has to store all these details along with the seat numbers, along with the service number, from place, to place, travel agency name, departure time, arrival time, fare, everything in the database. So, first of all, we need to create one table in the database. So, here actually, I created one table in my SQL Server database. The database name is Travel Biz Project. The table name is Booking with columns CID, Customer ID, C name, Customer name, Gender, Phone number, Yes, Seat numbers, from place, to place, fare, service number, travel agency name, departure time, arrival time. So, yeah, this is my, I want to store all these details in my database. First of all, whenever I click on this book ticket button, I want to catch all the control value. That is a major task here. Let us see how to catch the control values. So, here let us say, so, here double click on button 2. So, here initially I will declare one variable int m is equals to first of all I want to catch the controls that are available within the placeholder. So, placeholder 1 dot controls dot of type. This is the generic type. You want to catch which control? Text box. Of here you have to mention the text box dot count. First of all I want to uh, count the number of text boxes that are available within my placeholder. And then I will try to um, uh, rotate the for each loop for each and here I will try to write what text box and here I will try to um, mention the text boxes so here the collection is something like what placeholder one dot here I will try to write something like placeholder placeholder one dot controls dot of type of type of text box is it clear? 
So here I want to catch the text box and here I will I want to store the text box value. I want to print the value that is available within the text box. So here for time being I will declare one variable string messages. Messages initially message is empty I will declare and here what I want to do I want to uh, store the value the text box value in that message. So message plus is equals to txt something like item item dot what text and I want to print the value also response dot write off I want to print the message let us see here debug and once check the output you will understand so here customer will select the seat numbers and the seat numbers will be displayed in the label and just click on click me after selecting the seat and press F5 now here I will try to give the value something like 101 here Anil here gender male phone number 9999 age 20 102 here I will try to give Sunil male and here I will give 888821 and here I will give 103 here I will give Ajay male and 77723 now click on what book the ticket whenever you click on book the ticket then all the details will be displayed in the response that right here you see 101 Anil 101 Anil something like this why it is repeating I will discuss okay here I have written plus is equals to sorry I have removed that one now you see here you will understand there plus is equals to means concatenation operator it is performing so I don't want to repeat the values so here I will give 101 Anil mail phone number is and here 102 Sunil and here I will give mail phone number as well as is now once when you click on this book ticket now button to underscore click will fire here you see the loop is rotating initially what is happening first of all it is catching the first control that is available within the placeholder and the idea of the control is text box one I think and the value that is stored is 101 and it is printing the value now the second text box will come what is the value Anil the third text box will come what is the value mail fourth text box that is double seven double seven phone number next is next again next text box that is 102 and here you observe clearly here this is important in middle some space is coming because that break line it will uh, uh, display the empty space we have to omit that one and the next value you are getting what 102 and next value you are getting what Sunil and all the values will be displayed it means that we catched all the values 101 Anil mail 7777 as is 20 102 Sunil mail some phone number something like that I hope you understood so here what I want to do here is I will declare one array string array string the name of the array is cust is equals to new string of here I will try to give 5 I want to store the individual customer details in one array and here also what I want to do here is I will try to store instead of storing the value in variable I will try to store the value in the array cust of here I will declare one variable with name int initially a is how much 0 and here I want to store cust of a cust of array name is equal to value where is my value item dot text item dot text that values I will try to store in where my array are you following so here if you observe clearly you can understand I'll try to debug and check the output now whenever customer will click on book ticket then this button to click event will fail now here you see the first value is coming 101 101 is stored in the index of 0 next 10 anil anil will store next here you see all the values will be stored but the problem is always the values are storing in index of 0 only so I will try to increment the a value so here I will try to write a plus plus I will try to increment the a value so that the values will be stored in the next index of the array so here you see I will just click on book ticket and here you see now here initially a is how much 0 now at the index of 0 which value is stored 101 and increment the a now a is how much 1 at the index of 1 anil is stored at the index of 2 mail is stored at the index of 3 at the index of 4 now I have to store all these values all these values are stored in the array now all these values I have to store in my table customer ID customer name gender phone number is as well as there are three seat numbers are there something like 1 and 2 I want to store the first seat number in where for Anil something like this here 1 and the from place the from place is already there something like Hyderabad as well as here you have what from place as well as two place as well as fare individual customer details I want to store here service number travel agency name departure type 
right for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel